Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Lashins FPS or you call me Chance and in this video guys I'm gonna be talking to you guys about internet. Yes guys the internet all of us use it on a regular basis nowadays Whether or not it's from our phones for social media or on our gaming consoles or desktops or video games and There's actually been quite a lot of different experiences that I've been recently going through If you guys actually follow me on social media I actually tweeted out about three weeks ago that I actually changed my internet service provider and I currently now have gigabit or fiber internet which is absolutely amazing and honestly guys i'm just so happy that i got this change and just a lot of things that i actually want to bring up to you guys this video is going to be actually really informative and i feel like this video is actually going to be really cool to make and just a general change of pace from my normal gameplay style videos i am basically going to be breaking down all the different topics and whatnot that i've learned from this process of changing my isp and if i had to really narrow down the three main topics i'm going to be breaking down is pretty much why i made the switch and what you guys should look for in internet service providers what type of improvements or just general things you guys could expect from getting a better internet and then finally if the switch is actually worth it for you guys depending on what type of things you guys would actually be using the internet for so like i said those are the three main topics i'm going to be breaking down and if you guys want to enjoy the rest of this video it would be greatly appreciated if you guys are new hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications or drop a like and comment down below what you guys think all of your guys support on my channel is greatly appreciated and now that i've actually had this new internet for a couple weeks now i feel like there's a lot of really good points that I could bring up in this video like I said but with all that stuff being said guys let's hop into the rest of this video so the first topic I'm going to be breaking down for you guys in this video is going to be why our household actually made the switch of our ISP and to kind of briefly gloss over the kind of the background leading up to the present the longest time that I can remember our household has always been under Comcast and for the most part they actually offered good internet packages over time we did improve it slowly but surely up until the point of before we actually did make the switch but our final speed that we actually were getting for the good amount of time is going to be about a 400 download to a 12 upload and you guys actually might look at that and be like wow that's like way better than i was getting and that's kind of true partly because the 400 download speed was absolutely amazing like i had no complaints with that whatsoever the 400 download was plenty for what our household actually knew with all of our devices but on the flip side things with the 12 upload that's where things got really really hairy so really i'm the only one in our house that actually like uploads like videos to try to stream and whatnot but even at a 12 upload i was like barely cutting it to try to do the things i was trying to do with the quality i was trying to stream it at i would be consuming about 80 to 90 percent of our upload bandwidth and it was so kind of like stretched thin on my end that if other people tried to use devices and use that part of the internet it would buffer and lag on their end and even if the smallest thing went wrong on the internet side of things my stream would completely lag and like drop frames and all that annoying stuff so every time i streamed i kind of had to play with my fingers crossed that the internet wouldn't go kaput in a sense and honestly i called comcast and said hey you guys offer really really good download and i have no complaint with that but can i get a better upload speed like is there no other packages i could get for the same price and they said no i was getting the best i could and honestly it was really frustrating because those two speeds are like polar opposite and it was just really frustrating and we really couldn't do anything because comcast kind of ran a monopoly in the sense in our area and there really was wasn't anything we could do in terms of actually switching to a different provider that offered better internet. But then about a year ago, another company came in the area called CenturyLink. And honestly, I really didn't know too much about them. I thought they were a smaller company, but they were actually a pretty well-known company around the country, but I just really didn't hear of them. But CenturyLink eventually did come available in our area, like I said, about a year ago. And what's really interesting about them is they actually offered gigabit or fiber internet. And when I found out that that was actually available in our area, I was kind of the one that lobbied for us to make the switch and on top of that they actually offered it at a cheaper price because comcast for the most part had good speeds for the most part like i said but what got really annoying is that they would try to nickel and dime us and since the contract we had to be under they actually wanted to raise the prices to like almost 200 dollars for us to re-sign and honestly that was just way too much for a product that we weren't completely satisfied with so when centurylink came in the area and they were actually cheaper and offered a better quality of service we kind of sat down and agreed about three weeks ago that yes making the switch to CenturyLink made sense and honestly I was really happy about this but like I said we did make the switch to CenturyLink so now our household is actually receiving fiber internet so about a thousand upload thousand download that's kind of what they advertise for I'll actually throw up a clip right now of me doing a speed test for the most part I don't truly get a thousand up thousand down I usually get somewhere between 750 to like 800 
100 download and then I usually get somewhere around like a 900 upload. So my download has doubled from Comcast, which is even better. But the upload speed is where I'm really happy about because that is significantly faster and that allows me to upload videos in only like a couple minutes compared to how long it used to take me. And I could stream now at full 1080p 60 FPS quality and not have to worry about it lagging or dropping frames at all, which is great for me as a content creator because that's really all I could ask for. So us making the switch basically came down to it being financially cheaper, like I said, about 60 or so dollars more cheaper per month. So for us to pay significantly less and get a better product or service, whatever you want to call it, was just a no brainer for us. And like I said, getting fiber in there is amazing. And this is going to perfectly segue us into the second topic of this video that I want to talk about with you guys and just the general improvements you guys could expect with fiber internet. Some general improvements you guys could definitely expect if you guys do decide to go out and get fiber internet for your own household, which I also kind of alluded to a little bit in the previous part of this video, is that since you have fiber internet, like I said, you have a little bit more bandwidth to work with in terms of the speeds. So if you guys are like uploading videos or streaming or whatever it might be, it generally is going to be way faster than you guys are probably used to. For instance, for me, when I started uploading videos with my new internet, it would only take like a couple minutes to upload like a 15 minute video, which is great because you don't have to worry about it taking any longer than that. And also if you guys are streaming, you guys really don't have to experience any like buffering or lag or drop frames or any of that things. And you also don't have to worry about other devices kind of taking up that bandwidth. Pretty much you're going to experience no lag for either streaming or uploading videos or anything like that, which is really, really awesome for someone like me, which is the majority of what I use that part of the internet for. Kind of another thing that I really didn't expect, but kind of realized later is that the Wi-Fi is generally better because like I said, the speeds are going to be faster. So if you're on your phone and other people are on their devices, like laptops or phones or whatever you might have you, if you're on like YouTube or social media, pretty much it like never buffers everything loads instantly, which is great because the Wi-Fi is another big thing that I use throughout the house, which is great for, like I said, loading things significantly faster. And also if you guys are playing like games or just downloading larger files for like updates or whatever it might have you, it pretty much downloads in only like a couple minutes, kind of similar to like I said with the YouTube videos, but with fiber internet, it downloads like super fast. So for gaming, it's really, really good. And also what I've kind of noticed when me playing like multiplayer, like shooter games is that generally my ping is also lower to like the host of the game, which is great. I don't think I've ever seen it more than like 10 milliseconds. And also games usually load faster and anything like that. Pretty much if you guys use any type of devices or play games that experience like it having to download, everything is significantly faster, which is honestly great. Especially if, like I said, if you guys have multiple people in the house that use like high income, like bandwidth devices. So honestly, if you guys have a lot of people in your household, fiber internet is literally the best thing you guys could possibly get. And honestly, overall, it's just a really awesome improvement. And I really haven't experienced any negatives so far, which is also another added plus. So the last topic I want to bring up with you guys in this video is going to be whether or not it's actually worth it for you guys to actually go out and get fiber internet for your household. And honestly, coming from me, who is a little bit biased because I actually use a lot of the internet for like things like YouTube and Twitch. So honestly, coming from me, I definitely think it is worth it. There's a lot of positive and just general great improvements that you guys could definitely expect for fiber internet since that's pretty much the best internet that you guys could possibly get out there. But honestly, there's kind of a little bit of a distinction between whether or not it's actually worth it depending on how you guys would actually use your internet or how many people there are, things like that. So I'm kind of going to briefly go over whether or not it's actually like really worth it for you guys to go out and get fiber internet, especially since price. But if it's the more expensive option, I could definitely understand that as well. But kind of just the general things, if I had to like tell someone if it's actually worth it, if it's actually worth it for you guys to go out, it's pretty much if you guys actually use a large majority of the internet, like I said, for things like playing a lot of multiplayer games, downloading a lot of like larger files and whatnot. If you guys are like editors or designers or anything like that, if you have to download a lot of things, it's definitely worth it because like I said, you could download large files at significantly faster rates if you guys have fiber internet. And honestly, if you guys like stream and like upload videos like I do, I think fiber internet is also really, really good. But I think fiber internet in general is just really good for people that use the internet a lot and are constantly uploading and downloading files to the internet. But on the flip side, things for some people that I don't think it's really worth it for the most part is people that really don't do the last couple things that I listed. For the most part, you guys really only like use like social media. You guys kind of just browse the internet whenever you guys want to. Maybe you guys like only watch like Netflix or things like that. You guys really don't upload or stream like larger files that often. Just for the most part, people that don't use the internet as much. Like 
Like really fiber internet is kind of like a luxury in a sense. So if you really don't think you're really ever gonna like need that fast of a speed, I definitely don't think it's worth it. But like I said, there's a lot of positives to having fiber internet. And I think over time as technology is only gonna improve, having fiber internet is just gonna make technology easier over time. It is not gonna hamper the experience, but will only improve it moving forward. So to quickly kind of conclude or wrap up this video, kind of like the general takeaways I think you guys should take from the video from the points that I brought up earlier. If fiber internet is in your area and you guys kind of use the internet a lot like I do or kind of do things like content creations or do a lot of gaming or you just have a lot of people in your household, I think fiber internet is definitely something you guys should look into, especially if it's something that's available in your area and it's at least cost effective, if not cheaper from what you guys already have. Because like I said, there's just so many awesome improvements from having fiber internet from just kind of have like standard like DSL cable and whatnot. And honestly, like I said, kind of moving forward, I think having fiber internet is only going to help you and not hinder you. So there's honestly just so many good perks to having fiber internet that for me, at least coming from my side of the spectrum is that it just really wasn't something I really could pass up. So I highly recommend you guys kind of do your research and see how practical it is for you. Because with all that being said, fiber internet is a luxury at the end of the day. But if it is something that is available and is practical for you guys, I definitely think you guys should take full advantage of it and look into it because fiber internet is honestly amazing. And let's not kid ourselves, having really fast and awesome reliable internet is literally all us kind of like gamers or like content creators and editors can really all ask for. Like who doesn't want fast internet? Like, come on guys, like having fiber internet is amazing. Let's not kid ourselves. There's just so many awesome things that come with it. It's just who wouldn't want fiber internet. So that's gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys definitely went on to enjoy this video. Like I said, it's a little bit different style of video, but honestly, I wanted to make this video. I felt like it was pretty relevant for me doing this recent internet change. I hope there was a lot of educational or just interesting things that you guys took away from this video. And like I said earlier, if you guys did go on to enjoy, definitely drop a like and comment down below what you guys thought of this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely also hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you guys never miss a future video moving forward here on my channel. I will also have all of my Twitch and social medias linked down in the description down below if you guys haven't already followed me on those. Until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video.